Hey everyone and welcome to your next episode of Cooking with Nicole. Tonight I've got an awesome side dish for you and I'm going to give a shout out to my friend Sika. Um, she's the one that taught me this recipe years ago when I first started this low carb uh, keto lifestyle and I'm going to pull this one out of the archives. Um, uh, it tastes awesome, uh, great. I could eat it all by myself because it's just so yummy. So what we have for you is a head, a full head of cauliflower that I have um, cut in smaller florets. And then I have a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and a half a cup of mayo. So what we're gonna do is take our cauliflower florets and we're just going to add into it our half a cup of mayo, our tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and uh, we're gonna shake the bag up, get it all spread around. Now, if you find that you need a little more mustard or a little more mayo to get everything evenly coated, please feel free to add, because you want to get it uh, so that it's not sopping wet, but that all of the florets are nice and evenly coated because this, uh, the mayo is gonna melt down while in the oven and create like an oil or a buttery type like sauce on the top of it. So you don't want any of the pieces to go dry necessarily. Before you start your recipe, you wanna preheat your oven at 400 degrees so it's all nice and ready when you're getting set to go. And so what you'll do is shake this all up. And so like I said, so everything is nice and evenly coated. And then you're just going to spread it out on a prepared baking sheet. So I have my baking sheet covered with a sill pat. You can use a piece of parchment paper or you can just put it down onto the baking sheet itself if you're not worried about um, extra cleanup. Once you have the cauliflower with the mayo and mustard combination on here, you're going to sprinkle on your half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. If you're a lover of Parmesan cheese and you like things to be a little more cheesy, it adds an awesome saltiness to it as well. Feel free to sprinkle a little bit more of the Parmesan cheese to the top of it. And then at the very end, you're going to season it with just a light sprinkling of garlic powder. You pop it in the oven and you're going to bake it at 400 degrees for approximately 30 to 40 minutes. Now, times of folks' ovens can be different and so you want to check it and make sure that the cauliflower is just getting to a nice to the teeth texture, an al dente texture. You don't want it to be soggy by any means. Take it out and serve it immediately alongside some of your grilled proteins if it's the summertime or in the winter if you happen to make um, um, you know, a great turkey. Um, I made this actually this last Thanksgiving uh, and served it to my family as a side dish and it was well received. So super good. The serving or the nutrition information per serving, um, this recipe makes five four ounce servings when using a large head of cauliflower. And you're going to get 160 calories per serving, 3.6 grams of net carb, there is 5.4 grams of protein, and of course because of the mayo, it's a little more fat dense, having 13 grams of fat per serving. But that fat is what keeps you full and satisfied and keeps you clipping all day long. If you like this recipe and other recipes and needing more for your low carb or keto lifestyle, I do have other recipes on my YouTube channel. Everyday Low Carb Cooking, and uh, Everyday Low Carb and Keto Cooking with Nicole, sorry. If you wanna find it easier, simply just Google uh, Keto Cooking with Nicole and I should come up. I make no money off of these. These are just simply for you to have a lower carb keto recipe. This is your side dish meal option for the day. I hope you all have a great evening.